Hey guys, Eric in the alley again. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I got uh, it was the APT 100, the uh, pressure transducer, the three range pressure transducer from uh, I got off eBay. It's a, a Chinese clone of the Pico, so you have three ranges on it. The, this guy here. Now, the one thing that you'll hear about these a lot is, is the hose and the piping, and you know, I've seen a couple of videos where people had better compression gauges, so they they already had a couple good hoses. I, I wanted to start out with something new and, you know, something I know is not going to leak for a little bit because it's even the form you get on them, the length of them, and the metal tube you get with these is, you know, w without the brass end on, this is just aluminum tube. So that's your rigid tube. And you can see how big of a hole they leave in these. And there's so many different ways of doing this. I mean, and it's just trying to do the best you can. That's what it all comes down to. But what I was going to go to whenever they stopped shipping for a while, the first transducer I was going to get, I was going to make one but didn't have the time. Then I was looking at the rod key one. So with this end, I got the, like the Pico clone of the electronic part. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the rod key, the heavier duty hoses. But I got the... Uh, two rigid adapters and I got the hose and I got all the fittings off another video I found the sizes I, I'm going to show you all the sizes and all the adapters if you get one of these transducers and you want to do it this way you know it's very cheap I think uh, all together you know counting the two pipes and the hose it might be around fifty dollars but you know give or take <laughs> a couple bucks here but you know for getting a good compression gauge for like you know 150 dollars just to use the hoses when i have three in you know various states <laughs> of their life but you know this way this will be separate for that but i'll show you everything i use the part numbers and like you know and the, the one adapter i found at napa i mean that was a win all right i'm gonna flip the camera around then i'm gonna take it apart and then gonna assemble it with uh the rocky hose we're gonna ukraine this thing up all right, guys, here's my plan. Um, I'm going to take off this valve here with the compression release because being there's no foot valve in there, we don't need a release. There's never any pressure in this. Every time I hit the valve, there's no pressure. So I'm going to take that off because this won't fit the standard size fittings. So I'm putting on the end of the transducer, I got this off another video, the parts number. And it was still in this, uh, I knew I recognized the bag from Lowe's, so I put the parts number in Lowe's.com, came right up, $3.50. That's going to convert it into a quarter inch airline, which we're going to go to high flow quick release. The regular, the, the brass couplers, they have a rubber diaphragm in there. I also seen that on the guy's video where he switched to the high flows to get a better uh, waveform because that diaphragm in there, it makes another you know impression on your waveform and then from that i got a oops a hot flow quarter inch mill fitting well hard to see in the bag but those are both from lowe's i'm under 10 bucks this was a find i got this from napa i was going to order from amazon but this is for changing the valve springs while the engine's still in the car you put this in the spark plug holes and it goes to an air fitting so this quarter inch air fitting will fit into this M12 one. And then plus you got an M14 one in case you ever do need it to blow pressure into the valve. But we probably got enough of them adapters. I just didn't have one that went to a quarter inch air line. So that's going to go to an M12 thread, which will either go to the rod key hose or it'll go to the rod key extensions. And these, they say keep it as short as possible. There's a very short one. There's a long one. You could double them up if you have to, and that's still better than going to the hose. But if you do have to go to the hose, you know, this is brake line or brake hose, and it's very heavy fittings on the end of it. And that's the M12 on this end. That's where we're going to thread in from here. So let me get it all assembled. And, and at Napa, that was... $11.44 for these two. That's already cheaper than the uh, fittings I was looking on Amazon, and it would have taken me two fittings to make that. So Napa comes through in the end. But all right, guys, I'm going to get it put together. I got some Gorilla Tape out. Going to put that on. The threads, you know, 
see what I could do. Try to make a tool a little bit better. Okay, guys, make sure if you do do this, make sure you double, you hold down on this nut. This is the transducer. There, there's a nipple on it under this. You don't want to unscrew this part. You want to take this piece off. And then it's, I mean, that is straight through. Okay, so now that's where this piece is going to go on. But that's just what it looks like. It's an eighth inch thread. So we're going to turn that into quarter inch thread with this adapter. All right, guys, that's the end result of it right there. So everything went together pretty good. And that's with the hose on. Now, they only had one of these down Napa. So what I'm going to do is order another one. Just keep one of them on one of the pipes. But what's kind of nice about that these is they're so narrow, they'll go down in a spark plug tower. So if one of these was on the end instead of the hose, you got some extra room. You know, you wouldn't need as long as a tube. Um, now, this is the part that don't work because this is like it, the cheaper end. And these are just the standard air fittings, and this will only work with this. So I could keep them separate. I think I have a fuel pressure gauge that uses something like that somewhere. I did check the, the leak down tester. Um, its hose does have a standard air hose, so I could use that hose on here if I have to. It has some good uh, steel fittings instead of the brass ones if I ever needed to. Sometimes I like the brass because it's a little bit softer. If you're going to strip anything, I'd rather strip this in a spark plug hole. But, you know, it's nice to have options. But, yeah, it's pretty nice. Now, a couple things are, one big thing I noticed Rocky, if you ever watched a lot of their videos, their videos are very good and detailed, and their, their transducer is, you know, basically one of these without the added electronics. Rocky holes are very small. I mean, very small for the pressure. Compared to, um, this is what comes with the Chinese one. The Chinese one's on the right, and on the left is the Rocky. Rocky uses a very narrow hole in both of them, even on the, on the solid piping. I mean, you can see they could have left as much as they wanted on these things. They're so heavy. But they choose to have that small hole. I'm not sure what the difference is or if it makes any difference, but what's nice is I could just swap from here to there out, go back to the old hose and do a side-by-side, -side, see if the, you know, the waveform looks any different. But I'm sure on these, as many as I've seen with... Uh, you know, universal transducers and homemade transducers, they still get excellent waveforms. So it's, you know, I'm very interested in, it, you know, diagnosing engines using the in-cylinder pressure, but I mean, am I going to get into it enough that, you know, the size of this piping is going to affect it? I doubt it. In, in the end, I'd like the, the Rocky for the price. These were both... Uh, for the hose and both the short pipes is $48 counting the shipping. So $18 for one and uh, $12 for the, which one was the hose? For $18 is both of these and then for $12 is the hose. So not a bad price, it's pretty cheap economical you know solution all right guys hope you enjoyed it and hope this helps somebody out let me know your thoughts all right have a good one adios all right on one final night i made a small cut there into the foam and if i just lay the pipes and the hose right like that i still could close it so all around good deal still stays all in one case doesn't sound like nothing sliding around, so we're good now. Uh, one other tip, if, if you do need a battery for one of these, uh, what is it, it's a 18650. I did get one of these at Harbor Freight a while ago and the light broke. I think they were like 14 bucks, something like that, I can't remember, but I was gonna take it back and I was gonna keep it just for this little flexible light. It has one in it. This is an old style Android charger, so it's not very practical. 
because everything else uses the type C. So I just took the battery out of it because Best Buy doesn't have that battery and neither does uh, Walmart. So you have to order it. But if you're in a hurry and you really want to use your transducer, I mean, Harbor Freight doesn't sell the battery, but it's what comes in the bronze. All right, guys, have a good one.